Welcome back to my channel. I make new videos. I don't know when. What up? Welcome back. I sew. My mother sews. And she taught me forever ever ago. And last year I bought this really cute machine, like half off. And it's like computerized and has a million different settings. And it's really fast and great. And I love it. But I've been procrastinating. I haven't been making any clothes for like six, eight months because I've been focusing on music. So a friend came over yesterday. I was showing him some of the things I made and he was like, girl, you gotta finish that stuff. So we're gonna finish this. It's this little top and we're gonna make a skirt. There's some needles in this. I was, began hemming this again last night. So I'll try and set this on. I'm terrible at hems. This is, there's no way that that's gonna look good. We learn one day at a time. Yeah. Okay, so that's what's happening. Yeah, my mom was a seamstress. Yeah, she was always working for herself. It was like her, her like her like business was. She like worked in restaurants, but then she also like made these padded blankets for like thermal blankets for this company, and she made things for like RVs. She's made like like the you know the the dashboard like dash covers. She used to make dash covers. That was her thing. But uh, I am gonna make short skirts and things that make me look hot. Our mother sacrificed so that we can be hoes. Thanks, mom. Let's go, hoes. So we're gonna start with this top. I'm gonna hem this. Hemmed the front part. So I need to figure out the sleeve situation, but I wanna wait until the skirt is done so I can kind of match the sleeves to like the bottom of the skirt to make sure they're kind of like in the same space. Cause I don't like to like plan it out and then like follow through immediately. I like to, I like to just, create in the moment, you know? So I knew when I started this that I wanted something like powder blue and I wanted it to be really long armed, I wanted to show off my abs and I wanted a short skirt. But I wasn't sure if I wanted like a whole dress or if I wanted a two piece. One of my favorite looks of all time is Rihanna's, I think 2015, was it the Met Gala? Or maybe the Grammys or something where she wore that two piece dress and I had never gotten over it. Another one of my favorite fashion moments of all time is again, Margot Re at the FCDA Fashion Award, whatever that acronym is. <sighs> she said later that her only regret, like one of her only regrets in life is wearing panties to that. So I have I have internalized that regret and I, you, I trust if I ever win that award, I will be in a similar <laughs> crystal, crystal encrusted dress if I still have balls, they'll be there too. <laughs> that would be so cool. Oh my God, going to like a red carpet, completely untucked, just like like dripping in crystals. Oh, that is stunning. Oh my God, I have to do that. I'm not keeping a penis though, so. That's for somebody else to do, because I'm not keeping this thing, so. It's for some other trans girl. Um, so yeah, this is what we're starting with, and we're gonna get started. Oh, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. I just did not needle this very well, so it just looks like shit. And I hate that. Okay. <laughs> this part is just like, it's like the corner, and I just want to like encapsulate all of it so that I can sew this whole thing together. Okay, I'm starting from this side. This is what we're gonna do. Na, na, na. Here we go. You ready? Nope. Got it. Do it. My hands are always garbage. Wow. Okay. You know what? I'll start somewhere. It doesn't start perfectly. Nobody begins as Beyonce. Beyonce had to, you know, learn how to be Beyonce. You know? So, gotta paint on yourself for not being perfect immediately. So I'll just start somewhere. Nobody starts perfect. Oh, that is wonderful. Like a couple. Right. Chugga chugga choo choo. Chugga chugga choo choo. Yeah. Ooh, that might have just fucked up because I looked away. Maybe not. Yeah, it's pretty rough, but I think I might go over it with another 
in the morning all night eats. Okay, here's the first one that looks like shit. Don't judge. See, it looks like hey, See, look at that. Terrible that looks. Let's go a little further over, like into this, which I am happy to do. Yeah, I'm really bad at these times. Oh well, we keep trying. You just try and try again. That's it. You just try and try again and you stop feeling bad every time you do it wrong because guess what? You're gonna do it wrong 5,000 more times. And you're gonna have 20,000 more hems that suck before you die. Just keep going. Who cares if you suck? Obviously, I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> just keep trying. There's no reason to give up or to think that you can't just because you can't right now. Maybe you can tomorrow. Maybe you can next week. Maybe if you keep practicing, you just fucking can one day. You know, that's how I feel. Maybe if I just keep practicing, I will, There, you know, this will turn out. I'll actually be a great singer and a great, you know, fashion designer and a great writer and a great lover and a great wife and a great mom a great sister a great daughter what it takes are trying over and over and over and fun up again and again forget the past prediction the thing about me though when I think about who I am and who I want to be known for, how I want to be seen by the people who knew who knew me the closest, who loved me the most, who were in my heart, I want to be the kind of person who does not quit or give up when they want something. That's who I am. I get what I want. Either I might not get it right now, but I will get what I want in the end. The real perseverance, dedication, emotional commitment, consistency, whether it's my hemlines or my high notes or my relationships. Life is very strange. Being a queer woman, I feel like I have a pretty solid grip on some very small pieces of truth that people just don't want to swallow. It turns out that we all have this innate need to feel or be like we're bigger when really we're just infinitely small little tiny cogs in this great wheel of organic experience, you know? Over the years, I've become a lot more introverted and introspective and um, less friendly, less um, willing to listen, willing to um, engage with people. I'm a creator. That's it. I'm not. And I like that. And I like devoting myself to being a creative and not being, uh, you know, one of those consuming kind of judgment creatures. Consuming judgment creatures. And that is how I see the world. A bunch of consuming judgment creatures. It's not worth it. If your head is, is filled with ideas of what other people should be doing, you're wasting your time. You know, that's just like the truth. If you're too busy thinking about what somebody else should be doing with their time, you're wasting your own time. And I've wasted a lot of my own time thinking about what other people doing are, are doing with their time. So take it from me. You don't need to waste your time thinking about assholes. Okay, I wanna um, cut out this skirt. So um, the top is two layers, as you'll see. So there's these outside, it's kind of a, this like lightly luminescent blue, and then there's this under one, which is a little lighter. Difference, I guess. Um, there you go. The top layer and the inside, because this is for my skin, it's softer and warmer, and this is a little more reflective and more of a sky blue. We're gonna cut out matching pieces for the skirt and then just sew them together. And then um, I think I'll hem the top so it just hangs right maybe right under my over my ribs right here and the skirt will literally just fall right here right on this and I want it to just sit right there cool 31 around 18 Ooh. okay so we cut out the underside material bottom we're gonna um 
Now I'm going to unpin it, flip it so that all of the pieces are together and inside out. And then I'm gonna sew the end and then I'm gonna pull it back and then put it on and see if I need to pull it in more on the sides here. So yeah, I'm really not great at like measuring my body and translating that to a material. Um, so I took a few extra minutes and I was trying to make sure that the ends, I just are kind of even, because usually my like, my real problem starts when I'm trying to put pieces together and like they're just so poorly cut and like measured that I'm like, it's like I'm wearing a box and like this ends this way and this ends I didn't measure this at all. I'm showing you what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna take an extra second. I was kind of using this skirt just to kind of match the vibes and grab the machine and see I kind of, the edges are all real off. Okay, I'm gonna move all my pins back about an inch and a half, and then I'm gonna fold the whole thing into in half, like hot dog style, so I can trim up these edges. Yet another mistake I've made many times is not trimming my edges and then ending up having like a patchy seam because I didn't see part of my cutting was like, and I cut right, sewed right over it, so there's this hole. So we're gonna try and proof for that. So I'm gonna pull my needles in further about an inch or two. Now I'm going to draw with a pencil right where I'm gonna sew. So I have a straight muffin line to draw. This is just over 21, this one looks like it's just under 21. There's like a half an inch difference. So this one's 20 and 3 fourths, this one's 21 and upward. So that means I can't go further this way, but I can go further this way. Wait, so I'm gonna trim the top of this really quick. Hey, you know you wanna try to give me just a second. It's my favorite song I'm gonna play. So I can protect you with a drink in my hand, eh? Should've made some plans with me and knew that I was free. And now you will stop calling me, I'm kinda busy. Stop calling, stop calling, I don't want to think anymore I left my head and my heart on the dance floor Whew. Ashes to ashes, dust to side chips I will never ever 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 be your side chip We trimmed it, it's a little off still. This side's a little weird, but whatever. We'll just consider that a kind gesture. Thank you, thank you. Girlfriend, Miss Scene, what are you doing? I don't know, man. My full-time job will never be seamstress, so at least we know that. I'm a pretty happy bitch. Swish, swish, bitch. This genuinely? I think it's really important when getting dressed to think about what you will think of that outfit the next day or the next week or the next year. As somebody who has looked back and cringed pretty much the entire time I've looked back, which is why I don't do it much, just go classic. That's my, that's my rule. Go classic. Just go classic. Just go classic. Classic is easy. Classic is known. A modern take on a classic is always fun. Yeah, my mom would like, yeah, that's how she would do it. Oh, that's so funny. I got how she did hands. Yeah, she would just stack it with needles. See, I'm doing like one every inch or two. Now my mom would do like three or four per inch probably. Like do the Pepsi Zero Sugar Super Bowl 69 halftime show. And listen to the changes. It's not bad at all. This music is never bad. Like journals, very uh, low key, very electronic, almost bubblegum synth. Beautiful little chord to use. It's very sweet, it's very tender. It's a very tender record, which is cute. Because he's always such a, a pop focal point, you know? So his songs, especially when he came out, you know, in that dance pop you know, moment, everything's always produced so big. But this album is so sweet. It's so quiet. It's so peaceful. I was listening to Switched on Pop talking about it. And 
one of the guys said that he's like i don't want to listen to this song, album and listen to the album i want to just turn it on in the background it's exactly what i'm doing it's like black bear's music a lot of happy sounds a lot of cooing his voice is always really stunning though and we're back the sun has gone away um but we have our and then this is underneath this is the tummy I haven't taken this side yet. I wanted to just do the hems first. The hem ones first. I just want to share with you I made a mistake. So I'm, um, I'm sewing together the the bottom of the shirt right here, this hem. And as maybe you'll see on this back side, when it comes to the connecting the edges, see this one? came together perfectly, right? Like the edges are right there. This one, this one's a little higher, this one's a little lower. <laughs> and you can see where I went too low when pinning this one. If you look at it, you can see it. Right there. See, it fits too far. So I'm gonna unpin that. Probably this much of it, and then maybe like. when it was going through the machine and so there became a space in between and my thread came out of from up here like flipped out so I can really find it. And bobbin is getting a little low so at some point I probably will have to redo that before this is done. Okay, 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 okay. What the f what'd you just do girl? Okay. just went plunk kerplunk. This is the hard part with sewing. It's just like making pretty thing music. It's actually weirdly similar because it is all about tiny, tiny pieces that don't want to go together that are ruining the entire masterpiece. <laughs> and locating those and fixing them is never easy. It's always such a challenge. Um, so then did my bobbin thread just get I don't remember. oh no I don't want to do this right now no I there's no choice you just have to fix it there's just no choice okay Breathe. so some thread is clogged in my machines so when I've watched my mother do this a couple times over the years, but I don't necessarily know how to do it with this machine. Oh, where did that even get caught? I'm screwed this. Yeah, that's what we're doing, okay. I'm fucking God damn, I have a country and girl. That's what we're doing. And if the question is, Hope, are you are you unscrewing those flathead screws with a pocket knife with a salmon jumping out of a river painted on it and a father and son fishing or a father and lesbian daughter fishing? Yeah. I did. I'm the only kind of girl who gets what she wants. There's no tools? There's a tool. Yeah. It, so it got caught. Okay. So what happens is it gets caught into this ring thing that is part of the many pieces of this. So if anybody ever has their thread caught in their Singer Quantum Stylus 9960, it just gets caught in the ring. So you just pick up this plate off the top of it, unscrew the flathead screwdriver with a pocket knife because you're a bad bitch, and you're on your side. So I'm gonna put the plate back on. Try and stop me doing this. This is what we were doing. We were gonna sew this together first. So we are. 
Okay, all of our initial hems are sewn in. Um, so now I'm gonna take out all of the pins. All right. I was originally gonna close these and have like a thumb thing, like a little like emo kid thing. That might actually still happen. It was cute though, I love it. It's so cute. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there you have it. I made a dress. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. This, like I've always loved like, pretty warm in it. Um, I mean, I'm kind of sweaty, but it's warm in here. Feels good though. I thought it'd be really cool out if I was outside in it. I love it. I love it. It feels so cute. I like it a lot, actually. Alright. Thanks for watching.